this job opened up that was like perfect of all the things I had been doing in the Milwaukee public schools as a department chair and an, involved in a, in a big high school, all the things, all the different disability areas, and I became a supervisor and a program there. And that was, you know, it's like, wow, it all fell into place. And um, again, it was a connections that, that networking piece, whether it's from Boston College or any of the places that you work, networking is huge and you have to develop that and or and you have to expose yourself to that you have to be able to take risks you've got to take chances and there's a lot of good reward from that i think too that uh the biggest thing uh, that i see for advice for people is that taking those risks making those changes take having the opportunity to go someplace else and get out of your comfort zone. And especially if you're young and have that opportunity to do travel or to be able to move to another location, whether it's for a short time and come back or for, now it's been 30 some, <laughs> 38 years I've been gone. So, um, you know, you can do these, these kinds of things. So then I'm, as I'm listening and that career change, here I am at 59 years old and thinking I want another career change. I'm, I'm saying, you know, maybe I need to move on to another aspect. And so pulling in my networking peers and who's out there and what are those options? Is it going to be consulting? Is it going to be working at a company that you know, sells uh, educational supplies that I've been using and I have a good relationship with these people? Should I do that? Do I, do I um, go back and mentor? Uh, I've got a lot of different opportunities right now and I have to make the most of them. They don't come to you necessarily, but you have to be open for them, you have to seek them out, and you have to basically, like you said, do it. When you see it, when you have that opportunity, go ahead and do it. And I just took a chance, and I remember I came to a Council for Women, a Boston College event, and there was a woman named Angela Crispy there. She is the Associate Dean of Harvard Business School. And so I applied to Harvard Business School, and I said, you know, I remember this woman I talked to for five minutes at this event. Let me look her up. I'm going to find her email address. And you just let her know that I applied for this job, and I was really, really interested in working at Harvard. And I genuinely was. I really wanted to be there. And she emailed me five minutes later and said, OK, I passed your resume to so-and-so. I said, wow, that really worked. <laughs> OK. Uh, so um, and I'll, obviously, it's not always going to turn out like that. But I think Boston College alumni um, are really responsive. Mm -hmm.